family is still waiting for justice after the death of their son in 2012. Now, the accused killer of his friend was in court today for a motions hearing, but no one has been connected to the death of David Goff Jr. Goff and his friend Ann Gilkerson were murdered in 2012. Goff's body was found inside a burning Jeep in Port Norfolk. Later that same day, police found the body of Gilkerson in Goff's home. Ten on your side's Jason Mark spoke to family members pleading for answers. Jason? Well, Anita, this is a very complicated case. A lot of moving parts, as we found out today in court. And Gilkerson's alleged killer, well, he's been arrested, and he'll soon go on trial. But as for David Goff, his case remains unsolved. It's been four years. How can people live with knowing they have taken someone's life like this so violently? Two Portsmouth families have to live with the pain of losing loved ones on the same day. In 2012, police found David Goff's body badly burned in a car in Port Norfolk. Hours later, his friend Ann Gilkerson was found dead in Goff's house on Broad Street. She'd been stabbed 123 times. The cases remained unsolved for years until a grand jury indicted this man, Keontae Key, for Gilkerson's death. Goff's case has remained unsolved. I know there have been crimes that have been solved, you know, many years later, 10, 15, 20. 50 years later, but my parents don't have that time. As David Goss' family waits, they closely watch what's happening inside a Portsmouth courtroom. Today was supposed to be the last hearing before Key's trial, but that was delayed again because prosecutors plan to talk about Goss' murder while trying to convict him for Gilkerson's death. Key's defense attorney says she needed more time to prepare, looking at Goss' case. We've heard that they're hoping that this case will lead to answers with my brother's case. Today we learned in court that Key might have not acted alone. Prosecutors say there were seven murders in Port Norfolk around the time Gilkerson and Goff died. And they all could possibly have some sort of connection. Police say they just don't have enough evidence to arrest anyone in Goff's murder. Several people out there that know what happened, they were involved in this crime. They have to know what's wrong if they have any conscience at all. And there has not been a new trial date yet set for Key. Now, coming up today on Wavy News 10 at 6, one of the big discussions in court were dealing with crime scene photos taken from Goff's house the day that Ann Gilkerson was found. We have some of those photos. We're going to show you some of those, and we'll let you know why the defense does not want them used. That's coming up tonight at 6. For now, we're live in Portsmouth. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.